I really liked the way it used a pretty um, conventional storytelling structure to unpack a lot of tropes about uh, politics and romantic comedies and uh, sort of small town mentalities. And I felt like everywhere you turned, he was sort of indicting the audience a little bit for assuming things would happen. Like audience assumptions do a lot of work in this movie. Um, and I just thought it was a really funny, smart way of, of telling the story. Diana is uh, the daughter of Jack Hastings, which is the small town colonel that um, Gary, played by Steve Carell, has come to uh, sort of encourage to be the next Democratic candidate for mayor in this very small town that's always had the exact same Republican, I guess, but like just a singular candidate for mayor. And um, she's just sort of watching her father and her town get overtaken by the ambitions of these people that have nothing to do with her town and really no uh, enduring interest in the town. They're just sort of using it as a symbol for some greater race that they're trying to, to master. This movie's really clever in the way that it shows how politics are so much about storytelling, which is a, an idea that I think we all sort of intuitively know, but maybe not the intricacies of it, and seeing how they position a, an enemy and a hero and what makes a person a hero and what they think the American public needs in this particular hero. I mean, it's really a reductive system the way that they understand the electorate. And I guess out of necessity, because it's like a mathematical system, so they just create these boxes for people, but it's a very sort of dehumanizing form of storytelling. I think it's relevant now because in the last 10 years, but particularly in the last three years, uh, the general population has become so much more invested in politics. And I think we've bought into it as a, as a like, carnivalesque sort of storytelling narrative that we're all caught up in. Um, I certainly, growing up, don't remember my parents being involved in politics in the way that it dominates every conversation in, in our life now. Um, so it feels like a really good opportunity this, this period in time to discuss the like internal machinations of a campaign and who gets demonized and who gets valorized. The movie begins with this Democratic operative, Steve Carell, who comes to this very small town in Wisconsin to convince this man to run for mayor. Steve Carell, he's such a sort of universally beloved actor and people feel a really particular thing towards him and such a, a warmth because he's so genuine and so lovely to watch. Um, and seeing him play this kind of like cynical, underhanded guy is such a a treat to exploit all of the goodwill that he's built up in his career. Rose Byrne is such a, an amazing actress and such a funny comedian, and the part she's playing, Faith, is just, it just is one of the great female parts. I think it's so funny and so wonderful, and what she does with it is hilarious. Um, and Chris Cooper is this lovely salt of the earth man who's playing a salt of the earth man and he's just found so many moments of comedy and uh and um sort of absurdity in this whole circumstance that's coming to this very small town john stewart is one of the loveliest people i've ever worked with um he has such an attention to performance which is remarkably rare in directors for them not to just be paying attention to the frame and the lighting and creating a beautiful image, but he is like hypersensitive to every single beat of performance, which makes the process of making the movie, not just the finished product, but like the day-to-day -day life on set so um, engaged and active and you feel so sort of challenged and it, it really creates such a nice environment having somebody who's paying such close attention to what you're doing and, and giving you new ideas every single take. It's really so fun. The whole movie is about how, especially in swing states, these political events and parties come into these small towns and make huge sweeping promises and 
really need these people to believe in the story that they're selling, and then they move on and never think about the swing state until they're back for the next um, election cycle, which is uh, bad. <laughs>